Let me talk to you a little bit about this fantastic garden that Deo and I got to visit the other day. Uh, it was mind-boggling how <laughs> it was. Well, the first thing, when you go through the front door, you see this humongous table. It's a tree. And when you get back to the backyard, you're hit with this. And it just mind-boggling. Well, my lens was not wide enough, so I had to do a whole series to let you see what it looks like. And that's our focal point right there. And there was a lot of money spent. Almost everything, all the stones and things like that, was imported from China. She said she had a hundred ton crane out here for weeks and weeks just to get everything set in place. Uh, nice looking lantern, very nicely detailed. Uh, this is going around the sort of the backside. Uh, of course, I couldn't read what it said, but I, I've seen these kind of uh, stones before. And going around, well, there was pads, so I, t I typically take it. <laughs> Some of the stuff that I really like in the gardens are these little details. And she hit it right on the mark of these little monks. Okay, so I'm going around the side, uh, next to the koi pond, and then the path that leads uh, around the main garden area. And you see these humongous stones. Uh, they were all imported from China, and some had to be cut in sections because they're too heavy. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just being overwhelmed. And I didn't really notice till I got home and started looking at these pictures that uh, the, the pines are under stress. Uh, the colors are wrong. Uh, I think somebody had tried pruning it and they were not skilled enough. Um, anyway, so in a conversation, she looked at me and said, am I interested? I said, no, I'm too old for this now, but I think Dale might be taking on the job. Okay, these are not ceramic planters. These are stone. Everything here is massive. Okay, this is a little area that she built. She was trying to do Japanese garden, but it ended up being more Chinese. Well, she's Chinese, so it makes sense. This is, it was hiding that um, vegetable area. Of course, everybody must have a swimming pool and a spa. Of course, she had that. I thought I saw a basketball court in the back somewhere. But, oh, I mean, I was overwhelmed with the scale of this place. It's almost two acres. See, the, that's our main focal point. So no matter where you stand, this one stands out. And uh, this is a very classical five rock arrangement in the Japanese style. So she understood that. Okay, this area here is kind of interesting. These are uh, driftwood type things that's hand carved. And this uh, big one, the first one we just saw, is so big they had to cut a, <laughs> the roof to get it in with the crane. And then they put a sunroof on it. But, um, yeah, it's a petite lady, but she thinks in a big way. See, no matter where you stand, you always see this five rock arrangement. And this uh, bridgeway is all marble. And uh, another glimpse of my favorite monks. She, she said she did all this herself. And I said, oh my gosh, I mean, even I couldn't even ma imagine uh, this scale. She said it took three years to build a house and another three years to do the garden. 
Yeah, I like all this little detail. So anyway, we were really amazed. Okay, what we are going to be looking at is uh, when she came by to the nursery to buy the uh, trees. Since I didn't deliver, she had to send a couple guys with this uh, Penske flatbed truck. And well, I, well, some of these trees are heavy, so I had to use the tractor to put it on the lift gate, and then they slid it in place. And well, you had to also cover it up. Too, so they had did all this to take it all home. Let me talk to you a little bit about the Japanese garden, especially the white gravel. Most people think that it's a low maintenance, you throw it down and it's done. Well, I was visiting this garden and I was asking about the, uh, how to keep it clean. Well, he said, oh, no problem. Uh, two, three times a year, four or five people come, pick up the gravel, uh, wash it, screen it, and then dry it and put it back. Uh, so Japanese gardens are not low maintenance. Actually, it's quite high maintenance, and it requires special skill. Uh, so anyway, those of you contemplating Japanese garden, make sure that you have a good budget for the maintenance that will be required. And stay away from the gravel. It's a pain.